I felt a demonic power at the house, very much so. In fact, one time I went out on the porch at night. My parents were out, and I had to stay away from my brother because he would try to beat me up too. He had carte blanche to do it. So I was on the backyard looking at the forest, and it felt dark and evil. And so I tried to be brave and called out to the forest. I went, you know, ah, like to yell to the forest to try to be strong and brave. And I felt like something yelled back. One of the things from the childhood I think that stands out to me is that I thought differently than others. I definitely viewed the world differently than others. I remember making a decision that I don't want this happening to others. I don't want anyone to ever go through what I'm going through. And so it dispels that idea that if you're treated terribly or abused, that you're going to abuse. That is not true. If if you're abused, you come to that decision point. I think. Where you decide that you don't want that to happen to anybody else, then that's where you head. You head that way. What happens now is when the SWAT teams show up, they now bring child services with them to confiscate the children, just like they did on Maui, kind of. So what they're going to do now is the children are the pawns on the chessboard, and they're they're considered their view of the game. They call it a game, a chess game. So what they're going to do now is take children away. Right, and that's part of their tactic. That's why my two sons were killed, and it was told to me that's why they were killed. So I would quote behave myself 